I'm very excited about this. We've got a friend who's a film star. Oh, yeah, Peter Hellier. I know. Peter Hellier has a new um, film out called I Love You Too, which is um, released on a premieres on May 6th, yes. I believe. Yes, yes. Should we have a quick look at a bit of it? Yeah, yeah. There's, uh, there's a trailer here, isn't there? Let's I have a look at it. I think there is. This is me and my mate Jim. In the wets. We're very successful with the ladies. Two friends, hot with serious boob. We just finished writing our bucket list, and you girls finished on top of the list and on us. And don't you have to be dying to have a bucket list? Not necessarily. That is until Jim met Alice. This is not going to work out. This is definitely a one night stand. I know he really loves her. We've been together for three and a half years now, and I. But there's just one thing. I. He couldn't say, I am so into you. Into me? You should be into bands and football and pornos. I'm into all of those things. You've never once said that you love me. Well, I can't say it now, can I? Can I get you anything, sir? You better bring me the bottle. Jim home, I thought we might tip a few in. You do realise he broke up with Alice. I know, high for high. Blake! Excuse me, you're sleeping in my car. Where is Jim Jans, anyway? This mate... He gave me a commitment ring. Commitment ring? What are you, 12? I never told Alice that I love her. You rarely ring. Never. Once? Not once. Never. You are, without a doubt, the worst boyfriend in the world. To get her back... I love you. It's going to take the help of a friend. What you need now is to hang out with the old Blake and Ada. Jesus! You bought me a hooker? And she looks exactly like Alice. It's uncanny. I see. The wisdom of a stranger. You're supposed to notice things in Alice that everyone else misses. She smiles in her sleep. Never seen anything so peaceful. She farted once. Oh, you just ruined the moment. And the courage to say what you feel inside. You do know that saying I love you for the first time is supposed to be hard. That's what makes it so special. Roadshow Films presents a grown-up comedy about a guy who's trying to grow up. Ah! What do you want? I'm sorry. I thought you were someone else. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Bye. I see you've got yourself a new girlfriend. Take him back, please. I liked him a lot more when he was with you. I love you too. Are you retarded? Is that politically correct? I'm in a special group. I can get away with it. The man behind that film is with us. He's a comedian. He's an AFL star, kind of. <laughs> He's a dad. <laughs> and he can now also add screenwriting to his CV. It's Peter Hellier. Thank you very much. Thank you. Welcome wow. Peter Thank you very much. You uh, made you made that thing. That, I know. This it's, is it, a really there's a much longer version that's going to be in picture theatres and stuff. It's still really surreal. I, I can't believe it. Yeah, we're still a few months away from it opening, but uh, I know it hasn't hit me. I'm not sure if it's hit me yet. I don't know when it's going to hit me, but I've loved the whole thing. I love the process. I'm proud of it, and uh, I can't wait to get it out there. You've got a beard in the film, Pete. Yeah. Um, you've you've lost the beard now, unfortunately, I have. but. Um, Robin Williams often grows a beard when he's doing serious acting. <laughs> and Steve Carell, I think, now, too. Yeah, so, <laughs> so now it's uh, Robin Williams, Steve Carell, and Peter Hellier. Is that an acting beard? Every time we see you acting, will you have that beard? Well, well, I, I, I thought, <laughs> if people don't know I'm acting, if I have a beard, they will know I'm acting. That's acting. That's, yeah, yeah. that's, that's acting. For those, that's acting in a nutshell. Oh, do wow. something different. Put on some weight. I didn't have to do that. I was fine as the, yeah. <laughs> the way the way I was. Uh, or maybe grow a beard or, or do something different. You know, what? Daniel Day Lewis does a lot. He, Daniel Day Lewis always looks different in these films, and yeah, I exactly. wanted to look different, so I grew a beard. You should write the Peter Hellier acting book, and basically what it is is sure, you yeah. open the book up and there's just a cut out beard. <laughs> <laughs> Put it on, <laughs> Mum. I'm That's acting. It. It's a beard. That's all you need. That is all you need. And I'm going to say it right now. That moment in that trailer, I've seen it a few times, where you are at the the, the girlfriend's door and say, "I like him better when he was with you." That's really good. That is a really good moment. Thank you. I think this film is actually going to surprise me. I think if people are expecting a uh, all-out silly comedy, you know, that I've been doing dick jokes on TV for ten years. You know, <laughs> they're entitled to expect the stupid yeah, comedy, yeah. but uh, we worked really hard with, with Princess Pictures, who have done Summer Heights High, and We Could Be Heroes with Chris Lilly and uh, 
and th they're an amazing group to work with. Philly Dry Show have been amazing, and we worked really hard on the script. It it's, uh, you know, men have cried, you know, in, in, in the screen. Wow. Women have cried, uh, but it's uplifting, it's, it's fun, and I I'm really, really proud of it. Hey, now, I saw you out on the red carpet before, yeah. and, and you've been on a number of red carpets. You're a man about town. People invite you to things. How different do you think it's going to be on uh, May 6th, when the film premieres, when you walk down a red carpet of a feature film that you are not only in, yeah. but have written and everything. Yeah, it, it, it's funny because I've been, and like you guys, you, you've sat in cinemas for premieres before, and uh, and uh, I've always wondered, will I ever be the guy that, you know, at, at the front introducing this film? And um, I don't know how I'm going to feel. I'll probably, I know they'll be nervous, but I want to enjoy it, hopefully, and, and yeah. celebrate it. And uh, all my cast will be there, and uh, I think I just want to enjoy it. There's a uh, yeah, I've loved the whole experience. I've fallen in love with the whole movie making experience. Well, being that you've got, um, you know, most of your mates in the film, the rest, <laughs> the rest of your mates will be sitting there at the premiere. Yeah, going, yeah. Didn't get my phone call. Yeah, I, was, uh, I thought this might come. Oh, I apologise, guys, but you'll be you'll be in the next one if we get to make one. I, the, I promise. The, the, the sequel. Time. Yeah, the sequel. I love you. <laughs> it's, it's also, I it's love not, you too, too. It's, it's not about an Irish rock group, but people have made that, made that mistake. You know, it's, it's, it's not about that. Peter Hellier, congratulations. Thank you very much. So exciting that your movie's going to be out. Great to be here. I've never been at a job fest before in Sydney. So I've been, I watched it from Melbourne. Yeah. Not, I've never been in Sydney for yeah. it, so that's great. Well, hang here for a second. Alan, uh, you're off to the VIP. Yeah, yeah, there's a team just behind here me. I'm going to go over there and talk to, um, to, to VIPs. It's going to be uh, quite exciting. I'm actually just going over there to drink martinis. Go, go and for have my it. nails done. I'll see you soon. Um, there are tweets coming up. When is that movie coming out in Canberra? I'm assuming, uh, I'm assuming they're referring to your uh, movie, and I'm assuming it's coming out uh, all over Australia. It's right? coming out May 6th all around Australia. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. That's when it's coming out. Brilliant. Yeah. That's what uh, they've told me. Uh, hello, Patrick in <laughs> Parramatta, who says give him a shout out. Very uh, and very happy movie extra has Trot Fest on. More of us can see it. Yes, that's kind of the point. Pete's mum. Ah, Hell yeah, it's a golden god. I'm pretty sure mum isn't on Twitter or whatever. <laughs> mum doesn't know how to text, but uh, and also she spells my name correctly as well. That's the, that's the other little that's the other little giveaway there. But uh, thank you, thank you. I'm pretty sure we're going to uh, head off to a break right about now. Uh, when we do come back, lots of VIP action, red carpet, all the marquees. It's Movie Extra Trot Fest 2010.